Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited to show you this eye look right here. If you hear a uh, lady in the background, it's because uh, my husband is getting re her ready for bed. But I wanted this to be a uh, talk through because child, look, mm, 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 mm. This is what we're gonna be recreating. And if my eyes look a little weird today, uh, it's because I'm wearing contacts. Of course, they're from TTDI, and these are in the shade Blue Purple. And this is the packaging that they came in. And they're actually what inspired this look. So my husband says they look kind of freaky, which, you know, I'm okay with that. So in on camera, they kind of just look black, but in real life, you can see the blue and the purple. It's gorgeous. It's really dark and um, it kind of like gives, you know, those like contacts where they're just like all black, but because of the blue and purple vibe, um, it's not black, but it kind of looks like it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's what inspired this look right here. Uh, I really love these contacts. They kind of like give me like ghoul vibes, friggin' love them. All right, so let me show you what I did. So, for my base, I actually used two. So, I'm going in with this Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Stick, and I'm using the highlight side for the top part of my eye space. And then I'm going to be using a Milani lipstick in the shade Black Spell for the bottom part so I can have a black base to put on my eyeshadows because I want this to be super smoky. And I did use tape to create this um, outer corner, so I'm gonna do that on this eye as well. I have my brushes set out, so hopefully uh, I won't be searching for stuff like I usually be in my videos. So let me zoom you in before we start, let me zoom you in. All right, so I zoomed you in, so hopefully you can see the bluish purple hue to these contacts now. And the palette that I'm going to be using for this look is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm also going to be using a single shadow from Sephora. This is in the shade Dark Ocean. And this is what it looks like. And then I also used an e.l.f. pigment and this is in the shade Ocean Eyes. All right, now that I have that base applied, I'm going to be going in with the shade Beast. I should be having swatches pop up while I talk. Going in with the shade Beast and going to lightly set the edge of that black lipstick. Because I am going to be blending it later, so setting it is going to help it blend a lot better and prevent it from going too high. So I really just have the eyeshadow on the tip of the brush and I'm just patting for right now. So sorry I haven't had super new content, content, content up. Um, I have been filming, but this weekend we tried to potty train Adelaide. Look, um, we went, we were going by a book, uh, but I don't think Lady is advanced enough for what the book, you know, it's the how to pay, how to, how to potty, pardon me, how to potty train in three days. There's nothing wrong with the book, but I don't think Adelaide is, she doesn't communicate well enough or understand things well enough, I think, right now, in order for it to be as effective as um, the book says it's supposed to be during certain stages. So we pretty much got through day one, and then we were just like, we need to, uh, we need to switch something up because this is not working. Now I can't remember what brush I used to apply. I think it was this one. I'm getting my brushes mixed up. Either way, um, now I'm going in with the shade Back Rolls and 
pressing that into where I applied Beast, and then I'm going to start blending it gently. Either way, uh, yeah, potty training. Um, it, and the truth is, it's only partly because I don't think Adelaide is developed enough. Like, she can, she can, um, she knows when she has a dirty diaper, for the most part, but I don't know if she recognizes what, like, what it is. Like, sometimes she'll say she has a dirty diaper, and then sometimes she won't, like, I changed her diaper today, and she had a huge turd in there. Like, it was like, it looked like she, we've been eating a lot of beans lately. Like, beanie weenies is, like, her favorite thing. So, um, she had some beanie weenies, and it was like she hadn't even chewed her lunch because it just looked like a big old, like, hunk of beanie weenies. Plop! Right there in her diaper. And, and it just so happened it was time for a diaper change because we change her every one and a half to two hours. And it just so happened it was time for a diaper change. And I open it up. And there's that mess of poop and it didn't even stink so I'm like lady why didn't you tell us you had to poop and you know she ignores me because I don't think she realizes you know she's just like <laughs> you know same old same old anyway um yeah so potty training by that book was not working and it was getting very frustrating and we had a lot of pee puddles on our kitchen floor because our upstairs we have a two-story house but our upstairs is carpeted so we had to do it um we had to do it downstairs and the bathroom is right by the kitchen so we have to every time she um started to pee on the floor you have to pick her up and run her to the bathroom and obviously you're inevitably you're going to get pee on your kitchen floor so we're going to try again in a couple months. She just turned two in May, so I might have high expectations because it was my idea in the first place. But then when we started and I was realizing like the things that she wasn't doing, even though we were following what the book says, like it says, you know, use rewards. But, you know, she doesn't she wasn't understanding, you know, what she had to do in order for the reward, even though we were doing what the book said. So, like I said, I think she's just a little bit too young. But I also think partly it's because of me. Because once she's potty trained, that's it. She's not a baby anymore. She's she's a kid. She's a kid. She's just going to need me to wipe her butt, you know. But after that, like, <laughs> like, what's the next milestone after that? Preschool? Like, ugh, either way. But, uh, so it's really only partly, only partly because she's a little underdeveloped. But, you know, there ain't no shame in my game. I want my baby to stay my baby, you know what I mean? Like, and it is what it is. When I'm ready, when I'm ready, I guess, I guess it's really me. When I'm ready to start um, potty training her again, then we're going to do it. Uh, but it's probably just going to be another couple of months, honestly, because she can communicate, but not to the point that the book requires. All right, so I'm going in with the shade uh, Dark, Dark Ocean, that Sephora, um, that's a forest shade. I don't even know if I can depot this. I wish I could. It'd be awesome if I could. Either way, uh, let me just apply that on my lid and we're going from outer to inner corner. Also to blend out the shade back rolls, I went in with the shade Ho, H-O-E from the palette, which means House of Edwards. Like I said, there should be swatches popping up as I'm talking. Anyway, that's my excuse for not having super new content out. So um, now that we have decided that uh, potty training is like clat or potty training as far as what the book wants is a no go. We're still, you know, encouraging her to tell us when she has to go potty and stuff like that and taking her to the potty after meals. But we're not doing what the book said, which was to... Um, have her constantly drinking so she constantly has to pee. We're not doing that. We're just having her go before and after meals and you know that's just that's just what what I think for right now is gonna work for us. Then I'm going in with that brush that had the black on it and I'm just lightly blending out that area where dark ocean meets back rolls just slightly
All right, next I'm going to go in and blend everything up here. And I'm going to be using a combination of my Charlotte Tilbury powder in number two and my Sephora powder in Sable, which is my foundation powder for the summer. So I'm going to be using these two to blend out my eyeshadow. I like using the Charlotte Tilbury powder because it is very airbrushed. <laughs> exactly what the name says it smooths everything out and it makes it easier to apply the foundation powder on top which is also um, smoothing sure that's just what we're doing right here I'm gonna apply a little bit of ho to oh no. so I apply that Charlotte Tilbury powder and then now I'm going in with the Sephora micro smooth powder I need to get back outside. My tan is fading and I am slowly entering that transition phase where I don't have any foundations to wear. <laughs> and I'm really trying hard not to purchase any more makeup. I did purchase those Pat McGrath palettes. Like they still haven't come in. I purchased two. Did I say that? I purchased two. I purchased one and the reason it's not, I found out the reason why it's taking so long to get here. Ooh, that was a lot of fallout reason it's taking so long to get here is because it's coming from the east coast and they're having an upsurge of corona again so that's why it's taking so long so i decided to try and get it from somewhere else and the second one i also got the um quad uh illuminati quad with my second order and that's coming from ohio so that should be here on monday and by the looks of it my um my other palette from that the other bronze seduction palette that's coming from Washington that started tracking again too because I did contact USPS when I went over the 14 day mark I'm like where is my crap where's my stuff so um, I did open a claim and then all of a sudden it started tracking again so I would like to think that means someone went and looked for it and was like oh let's get this girl her stuff either way so I'm gonna have those two palettes and I'm okay with that. All right, so basically what I'm doing, I'm just going back in with my transition colors, trying to make um, everything look really nice and blended. And then for my eyebrow, I'm going to use the shade Headliner, just a little bit, and I'm going to tap it underneath my brow, just like that. And going to my nose, just for a little bit of a matte highlight. And then of course I'm going to use my transition shades to blend that out just a little bit so it's not so stark, but I want it to look like that. So what have you guys been up to? Um, here in Michigan, things are still really, um, touch and go as far as corona like a lot of people don't believe it exists I'm not one of those people I 100% believe it exists and I'm living my life accordingly but uh, you know some people either way how are your states doing I know it seems like I'd be asking the same questions over and over again but there's really nothing going on you know like uh, it's a voting year, so, I mean, I could talk politics, but <laughs> no, I can't talk politics. I could talk about what's going on in the unity community, but <laughs> no, I can't talk about that. Everything is just so extreme right now, so I'd rather just, like, stick to the makeup and ask you general questions on how you're doing. Just being completely honest with you. That's what I want to do. I did just go in with a tap of the Supreme shade, which is kind of like an orangish brown, to try to help blend this out up here. All right, so for that lid, as you can see, it kind of looks like a greenish, okay? Uh, we're gonna fix that, no worries. I'm going in with this e.l.f. eye pigment. And let me just swatchy swatchy for you. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So I'm just using a brush. 
and I'm going to place it on my mobile lid from outer to inner corner. So I did order more contacts than just this one. So a lot of my eye looks um, in the next couple of videos are going to be centered around contacts because that's mainly where I get my inspiration from. Like unless there's a palette that has come out that really gets my juices going in my brain, which is why I wanted the Bronze Seduction palette. Um, it's usually contacts. When I change my eye color, that makes me want to use different eyeshadows and things like that. Um, so don't be surprised if you see me coming on here with a whole bunch of different colored eyes because that's just the vibe this, the, for me this summer. Trying to be as creative as possible. Alright, so I have that on and it kind of has like a purple, purple glitter in it. It kind of reminds me of that, um, the Glam Goth, uh, the Glam Goth Beauty Glitter. I'll, I'll pop it up right here. I'll pop it up right here. Um, that I used in another video where it's like, pardon me, where it's like blue, but then it has like undertones of purple. That's kind of what it reminds me of, except like in a liquid form. Gouges. All right, now I'm going to go in with the shade DDG. And I'm actually going to use it with a mixing medium because I couldn't immediately find my... Um, I could not immediately find my, what am I trying to say? I could not immediately find my NYX glitter glue. So I just went in with the NYX mixing medium and then applied that DD, DDG shade to it. And then I'm tapping it on my lid like so. And I'm really digging into this shadow. And then apply. Yeah, do you see how that just like brought it to life right there? Yes. And then I'm going to go back in with that. Uh, NYX shade on either side just to make sure that that pops as well and of course to blend it and the good thing about this liquid um, eyeshadow which I think that's what that's what it's marketed as. I'll I'll leave it up on the screen what it's officially called. But I think um, what's so great about it is that it dries very fast. So you don't have to worry about it bleeding anywhere or anything like that. So definitely like that. So just going in and reapplying it to my outer and inner corner and blending it into that DDG shade. Once again, just putting that black on the tip of the brush and stamping it. I want it really dark on the outer corner here, so I'm applying some more there. And then I'm just going to go back in with my other transition colors, which were Backrolls and Ho. And just continue to blend until I get the look that I want. 
All right, so I just went ahead and applied my liner. And the liner I used was the Benefit Roller Liner, and this is in black. So now we're gonna do the bottom lash line. So I'm first going to apply the uh, It Cosmetics No Tug in black. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but this is my liner of choice. It's waterproof. And I'm going to heavily apply that to my bottom lash line. And I'm connecting it on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Beast. and just tap it on top of that liner. This black is pretty pigmented, but y'all already know what my favorite black is. But since I just wanna keep it in one palette, we're just gonna use this one. All right, next I'm going to go in with the shade Back Rolls. And I'm going to apply that to a another smaller brush, just a little bit, and once again, just pressing it. And I'm literally pressing it into where I applied Beast. And just kind of letting it blend itself out. And then going back in with the shade Beast and really making sure it's connected on that outer corner. And then I'm going to go back in with my liner because I do see some skin gaps on my lower lash line. All right, so these are what the eyes look like before I apply my lashes. And I am going to be going in with a inner corner highlight. I haven't decided what yet but I am going to have one. I feel like I need one. But this is what the look looks this is what the eyes look like before I apply my mascara. And with mascara. And just in case you wanted to know how this looked with natural brown eyes, here you go. So I'm not going to be doing my complexion because honestly, it's it's boring. Uh, all of my creativity right now is going to be in my eyeshadow. So I hope you guys can uh, appreciate that. <laughs> so I'm going to stop the video here. And if you liked it, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. Share this video because, you know, sharing is caring. And since you're here, you might as well watch some videos. So they should be popping up. They should be popping up above my head. They should be popping up. Uh, support your girl, okay? And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!